Welcome to the channel and today's video is a little different because it's not about FPV but it's still about drone. I want to talk to you about my new Air 3. DJI quietly released a new firmware upgrade along with a Mini 4 Pro and it brings you a bunch of new features but the most important one, the most important feature I think is a new uh, AI return to home features. It now has the same features as the Mavic 3 and the Mini 4 Pro. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So let's take off and let's jump into the controller. All right, we're going to... Approached edge of altitude zone. Home point updated. Take off. So... Let's get a little bit of altitude and I like that lens, That's let's try to get a few pictures of uh, those clouds here. So as you can see at the bottom there is a new edge uh, icon and this shows you your own point at all times. So it's very similar to the DJI Avada or the DJI FPV if you're familiar with that drone. Uh, I think it's a very very amazing feature, really cool feature. So as you can see the edge is now on top, I don't know why because we're behind the drone. So it's not perfect, it's, I don't know, I guess it's got a few quirks. As you can see it's like ahead, it's in the front at the top of the screen. So let's see what happens when we turn around. Okay, let's turn around the edge and let's go back to the wide lens so now we're facing uh, so as you can see now we're facing like the home point and it's showing it's really accurate actually it's really showing uh, cool let's move around yeah as you can see it's keeping that home point very locked in so it's really cool and now let's go a bit further from home Let's go like uh, 500 meters away from home. Let's see. Yeah, I really like that home point. That way it's like, it, it, shows, you, it shows you where it's home at all point. I think that's a really, really cool feature. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna activate the home point. So you can either use the icon on the left of your screen, or you can, uh, you have a dedicated button on the RC2, which you press for a couple of seconds. Return and here, so uh, return to home is activated and as you can see there's a new graphic so it's a green uh, path and it shows you the uh, home the, um, the path is going to take to get to your home point so I think it's a neat feature it's, I don't think it's very useful but it can be good in case of an uh, obstacle so you can see any obstacle in the way so that's cool so let's wait and see what happens as you can see, the path is going down all the way to a home point. So let's see what happens. Return to home. Yes, really neat. Really cool. I like that. So then, now let's talk about the last feature. So sorry about the noise. It's probably, uh, you can probably hear the propellers, but I need to be close. To the ground to show you that feature you can see there is a, um, a drone icon it's like the shadow of the uh, of the drone that shows you exactly where the drone is going to land so in our case today it's not very useful because we're in a, a huge field but in a in a case where you have to land away from your home point because you're running out of batteries where well, you can see exactly where you're landing so i think that's cool or if you need to land in a tight spot between trees, you can aim at the very specific spot and land safely. So that's cool. Yo guys, that's it for this video. I am super pleased with uh, the Air 3 new firmware update. Thanks DJI for releasing that update. So that's a quick video for you guys today. See you.